Some folks really, really want to emulate the look of their favorite star, but that can cost you not just money, but precious time. A couple of local doctors, however, say a new trend's exploding right now, giving you the lifts you've always wanted mm. for less time and money. Well, Fox 29's Joyce Evans shows us what's drawing women from other states here to Philadelphia. The plump, the pout, is that really all it's about? They're great, lips are great. And getting greater, the American Society of Plastic says the number of lip enhancements are filling up doctor's offices. Whether they be surgical, whether they be implants, there's all kinds of things you can do for lips. Lip filler injections and implants soaring over the past year among the fastest growing facial procedures in the country. But why? Everybody wants it for different reasons. But fewer want it over the top. I am addicted to lip filler. Like what you may see online or the reality show, Botched. If you want grotesque looking huge lips, that's a, that's a bad thing as well. So don't come to you. Yeah, don't come to me. I'm not going to do it. We do a lot of secondary surgeries and, and reconstruction here. That could cost a fortune to fix. The trend now, less is more. Now, I think that the whole Kardashian wave has really changed things around a bit because you look at her, you know she's had something done to her lips, you know there's been injections there, but it looks great. And younger women want that look. With the selfies, with FaceTime, with the way people are always taking pictures and seeing pictures of themselves, I think people become a little bit more aware of some of the subtle changes that we might not have noticed years ago. But for women not starstruck by celebrity lips, doctors Howard Krein and Ryan Heffelfinger say it's more about tweaking and fixing flaws, like shortening that space between your nose and lip. And we do a lip lift procedure for that. We certainly do all of the fillers, which replace volume. And the thing about the fillers is they're temporary. That's why solid silicone lip implants are blowing up. Right, so it's soft. nice and it's yeah, it's nice and soft. So it feels a little bit full when you when you when you touch the lip, but it feels like a natural lip. Natural is what most women in their late 30s, 40s, 50s, and beyond are looking for after they lose volume, develop lines and wrinkles, or see uneven lips get worse. I was really, really scared at first. But this 20 didn't like one of her lips at all. I am a little bit self-conscious about my upper lip because when I smile, it kind of disappears. She's had it fixed before. It wasn't both so dramatic and it was just a little bit fuller. It's all worn off now, but Jill Leoy wants it back and more. So Jill's a little bit volume deficient in the left side versus right of the upper lip. She needs a little more volume. The edges of her lips look real nice. She actually has a nice full lower lip, but we're going to add just a little bit down there. Dr. Heffelfinger works on plumping and evening out Jill. It is some, a smooth hot dog that's sitting inside your lip, which gives you that fullness without being lumpy. So that lip's going to swell up. Mm -hmm. yeah. Meantime, Shauna Wallace is yeah. waiting to show her already beautiful full lips to Dr. Crime. With age, things start to change. Enough for this 42-year-old to travel from New York City to Philadelphia's Jefferson University Hospital. Crying, how are you? I noticed that look. I didn't like that look, so I wanted it to come back up. Says she's not looking to change anything, just maintain the lips she was born with, like the central area called the Cupid's bow. Pinch right here, and we're just going to go right up the filter column, and you can see how it just accentuates, and it's just accentuating what she already has. Same as Jill, it looks far worse than it feels. You Perfect. feel that, Sean? I don't. That's the best right. part. I know. Thanks to good numbing and that little vibrating device. Now, filling in the corners, she says, make her look sad, takes a little filler and a little Botox to weaken the muscle that pulls the corners down. And that just pulls that up a little bit. So not put directly into the lip, but... That's underneath it to lift it. In the end... Well, that natural look, not the plastic, you know... She just got her lips done. And for Jill's new top and bow. Oh, perfect. It's nice and natural just the way I wanted it. The lips will swell a little over several hours, but after that, if you don't ask... Do you tell them? No. <laughs> Not all the time. My family, yes. My friends, some of them. They're gonna know now. Oh, hi. Now they know. <laughs> Joyce Evans, Fox 29 News.
Or he could just grow a mustache and beard and not worry about it.